I have known or I have experienced uh, many people not coming into therapy when they are told that, you know, you need to change. As long as it is their child who is below the age of 12 years, it's fine. They are not ready to bring their child who is above 13 years into therapy. Or they want the therapist to lie to the child saying that, you know, or kind of manipulate the child. Therapy. You're just brought here to talk and things like that. But they, they don't understand that talk is also therapy. True. And when it comes to working with children, young children, if I tell the, the parents that, you know, you, you are uh, the one who needs to change hmm. or the child is, is projecting what you are doing and things like that, they stop coming into therapy. They feel either offended or they feel that it's not my problem. Like, I, I am not wrong. Okay. So, what do you think? So, I have, seen, I have seen that mostly in, in I don't know, or, or people, the previous yeah. generation for some reason. Maybe it is because there has been a lot of rise and a lot of uproar about mental health in the mm-hmm. last few, few years, you know, mm-hmm. last decade or two decades now, True. that your grandmother must have not heard about Correct. psychologists. They probably heard about uh, people who release demons and ghosts and things like that. Because my grandmother used to tell me a lot of stories about that as well. Okay. Like, you know, being possessed and things like that. So um, I think because of that uproar that has been come now in our parents' generation, that they are aware of it, they're just not used to it. And for some reason, they don't want to get used to it because of, again, your grandparents or our grandparents' generation wherein mental health was portrayed as, you know, being being possessed by demons or it being black magic and things like that. So history has kind of brought in the stigma and then it's been passed on from generation to generation again we are coming back to the fact that maybe because the country is collectivistic and because we, we so listen to our parents, so listen to our grandparents, that, you know, we, we're just following into their footsteps. And every elderly person out there, we have to listen to. So if they I, say maybe that, yeah. I so agree do, you, do you have something to add? Um, no, I actually wanted to add to what you were saying before itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, rural areas, they're unaware. Now, that comes to like rural and urban. So now even uh, mm-hmm. our previous generation, they don't know much about uh, what's happening in urban, right? So um, they, they feel that, you know, that uh, what my grandmother's generation have been following like possessions and demons mm-hmm. and stuff, that perspective, that still continues in many of the internal, um, I mean, cities, no, not cities, villages of the India. So that, there's still no much of awareness that is coming out. And mm-hmm. I mean, people need to know what actually uh, counseling is, or how does it work, or what is the benefit, or anything related to psychology people are quite like not aware of what's happening so if you see rural and urban there's a vast uh, mm-hmm. difference you know in understanding about this perspective when it comes to uh, understanding about what like awareness of mental health hmm. is it also uh, the level of education like how they are taught in schools or what they're told in schools and things like that. Probably. But I also see sometimes as culture that matters and not like mm-hmm. education alone. Like regarding um, okay. psychology, you need education, yeah. you need awareness, you need like, you know, street plays or something that reaches out to people, like reaches out to everybody possible. That is the more main goal to throw away stigma. Mm-hmm. 
and and how culture you said culture plays a role what kind of culture like how culture a uh, culture same 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 way as you said that you know possessions and demons and stuff so if you see once you have that culture it uh people have this notion that you know you cannot divert from that and if you divert then god will feel bad so that's that's a completely different story altogether but this is how people follow it it's like a ritual and you have to do that ritual so okay yeah. not not diving too much into culture because yeah. that is a topic that different. we shouldn't touch upon again because yeah um we shall stick to why people don't believe in mental health um and things like that or what what are they so afraid of what would what what are they so afraid of that would happen to them if they went to a psychologist if they went to uh, if they went to see a psychologist are they afraid that you know their family will treat them differently they'll be treated differently at work or uh, their friends will be treated differently hmm. because it does cause like you go you go to a psychologist and everyone's like you need to get help you need to get help but the minute you probably go get help work is going to be difficult because maybe people at work won't treat you the same they'll start pitying you they'll start sympathizing with you or you know they treat you differently is this what they are afraid of what do you think i think yes that is also a part of it quite there are a lot of things that are there the stigma so i think even this also mm-hmm. can be the thing like you know judging people might judge me mm. like what will the society think right kuch to log kare the logon ka kaam hai kehna but that no yeah. never so it, it i think it all everything we talk about ultimately comes down to the fact that india is a collectivistic country and we are so worried about what society is going to say that we don't care what happens to us it is all about society i mean it's not wrong to um, to worry about what society will say i mean you have your image and this and that but um sometimes it should not be dived i mean it should not have a negative impact on something that would cause you distress something would, that would drive you into a corner something that would make you feel trapped because ultimately that is what mental health does if it is not uh, dealt with at the very beginning or you know even in the middle it just gets worse and worse and worse and then you just feel trapped and then the suffering just increases and then from one thing you add on to another thing you know you you're, you're depressed then you're stressed and then you're anxious and then you get your panic attacks then you have to take medication but it never goes away because medication again won't solve everything because even though you say you're taking medication and though there is no stigma against medication and there is stigma against against going into therapy you know just because we call it therapy and not treatment mm. maybe that is why there is that stigma and again that dives down to what will people say <laughs> so we we spoke a lot about um how stigma is born or what could it have been through generations to generations why it has converged into something so big Hmm. um any closing remarks oh um i think you just have to in, i mean aware people about mm-hmm. what counseling is so that is one point <clears throat> second um i think you will have to change people's perspective by you know at least saying to one person and that person can go and share it with someone else like saying so it can um, like the word of mouth you can spread it mm-hmm. in that way. so yeah awareness i think is something very important for this generation or the previous generation yeah right because i was also going through just general statistics i don't i'm not sure whether it was on wikipedia or something but it was just a very general thing just to get my head around it and they had done a survey 
on uh, asking people what is mental health or what do you think about mental health and then they just listed down what is uh, a myth and what is awareness so there were a lot of people who who said things that were mythical okay you know things like you're crazy things like um you don't know what you're doing things like you you know you think things like that and there were very few who actually said something that is actually awareness mm-hmm. and seeing things or hearing things but all of this comes down to do they think this is mental health or do they still think that this is being crazy because if you go to see you ask someone what would you what would you say to a person who hears things who hears things or who sees things and they will say that person is gone mad you know tomorrow even if you see a person walking on the road any lay person walking on the road many people go and and he's talking to himself many people go why is he talking to himself is he gone mad it's very easy for people to say that and they don't realize that saying that is also stigmatizing something so yeah so i think awareness and how people think and what people should say and people should think before they talk or think before they comment on something is very important all right so i think that with that we we end this discussion and uh, if anyone has any comments suggestions uh, questions they can say so in the comment below um we're open to anything you can also be a member of our website which is olivecounseling.com and if you're a member we have a forum there wherein you can chat with other members you can put up your own experience you can talk about it you can get other members to talk about it it's more like building a community and having people to share the same experiences that you share which makes you feel even more inclusive um also for our future discussions if you all have any other suggestions any topics to to talk about you can suggest them below uh that's it thank you thank you so much